it's him. It's him. It's him again, as they said in the classic awards. It's him again. <laughs> Fuck me. I've been gone for 20 years. It's him again. <laughs> Give me that fucking break. <laughs> it's him again. Two years in a row, we've got to give him an award. Fuck! Oh, man! I came in and loved it. As I was walking in, the missus, uh, my glasses must have been this, because I could have sworn it says Comedian of the Year. <laughs> Anyway, from the page, Mrs. Martin. She's a bloody serious, actually. I lay on the bed. My my euphoria was about to be, be replaced by a gigantic case of paranoia. I was frozen to the bed. I could hear sirens going off and the sound of doors closing. There were footsteps coming from the basement. And that one was that music coming from upstairs. Were they in my house? I better go get the garlic knife. I somehow peeled myself off the bed and stumbled back into the bathroom, loading the pipe with another rock and babbling something about the music I'd heard coming from upstairs. Fuck it. I took my hit and made my way back to the bed to lie down. In all my years on this twisted, satanic merry-go-round, I had never felt so unsettled. As the evening became morning and the sun was rising, I played out my dance of death and found myself alone one more time, cornered by my own shadow and my reflection in that demonic mirror. As I stood eyes fixed on my reflection, I found myself asking the stranger who I was facing, who are you and what do you want? I didn't recognize the shell that I was. I took another hit, it bottled my knees and I crawled to the bed like a wounded animal. My girlfriend asked, what was wrong? And my words came out, something's wrong. She drove me to the hospital. I said, nurse, I've taken too much cocaine. Then I blacked out. When I came to a doctor, stood over me and said, Mr. Hughes, you've had a heart attack. That was kind of painful. Something